Valerie Pearson and I'm the author of Home Cheese Making in Australia. What we're going to be doing today is learning how to wax a cheese. So I have a cheese that I made a few days ago. It's had a chance to air dry and we are now going to wax it to protect it so it doesn't dry out during the maturation process. That's when you age it to get that beautiful flavor that you're looking for. So what I've done is I've taken some cheese wax and it is a natural color and I've put it in a pot and melted it on the stove. Now that it's all melted, I'm going to bring it over here. Let's just turn off the stove. And I'm going to take the cheese and I'm going to dip it in the wax. So just take your cheese and the cheese is quite cool because it's been in uh, cool weather up here at Stanthorpe. And I'm going to dip it in the cheese. And that kind of coats it and it'll start drying right away. So you can just gently turn the cheese and keep dipping it and turning it. Now, by the time you get round to where you've already waxed it, that wax is already firm and dry. So it's not going to burn you. Just keep turning and dipping and turning and dipping. All right, we've been all the way around now, but we do have one thing that we haven't been able to do is we haven't actually got any wax in the middle of the cheese. So I'm going to put it down on some wax paper, get my cheese wax brush, and then go ahead and paint the center of the cheese with the cheese wax because obviously I couldn't get that part of the cheese in. One, the wax isn't deep enough. Two, I really don't want to put my fingers in the hot wax. So I'm just painting that area with the wax brush to get a better coating of wax in that center. All right, now I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing to the other side and it's already becoming dry and firm. So just turn it over and do the other side. I must do this again one day with you and do it with a lovely red wax so you can really see how the wax is going on. So paint the center again. And now the whole cheese is covered with one coating of wax, but I'm actually going to double coat it. So I pick it up again. The wax is already firm and dry and I'm going to do the same thing to get a double coating of wax. Now don't hold it in the wax too long because the hot wax will actually melt your first coat rather than giving it a second coat. So just keep waxing and turning and waxing and turning and then on again. I've got a fingerprint there. Forensics will know it was me that made this cheese. Keep, keep going and do that second coat and then take your cheese, oh, stuck to the wax paper, and turn it over. And do it again. Now I did have a little bit of my wax lift up right here, so I'm just going to glue it back down again. It's really very easy to wax your cheese once you know how. And it's a wonderful way to protect your cheese from any moisture loss during your time that you're drying the cheese. The other thing I wanted to tell you about the cheese wax is when you take this cheese wax off your cheese in the future, you can recycle it. So it's a wonderful, sustainable way to take care of your cheese without using plastic. I know backpacking is popular now, but this is a better idea. Thank you.